So I want to give you a demo of Cyberlink Power Director and how I used it at CES to produce low bitrate uh, videos that would quickly upload to YouTube. So what I was doing is taking a 10 megabit per second 720p from my camera. It's Panasonic uh, FZ150 um, st standard H.264 sort of .mp4 videos with a with an AIC soundtrack. And if we take one here, you'll see that it's got a bit rate of 10 megabits per second, 25 frames per second, 120 by 720. So I'm not doing a full 50 frames per second. And because this is a PAL camera, it won't do 30 frames per second, unfortunately. Anyway, 25 per second, 5 per second is the source file. So let me quickly show you how I put these together. We took a header pre-prepared and we just segment those together very easily, very quickly. And we're not doing any, and I want to give you this tip actually on the Core i5, um, Core i5, i3, and i7s. Um, let's have a look. There's one thing I want to tell you that ah, don't so don't enable HD video processing shadow file because it does a load of stuff in the background. And in fact, the hardware encoder and and 3D processing power on this is enough to, enough that you don't need to do the shadow file on this it speeds it up a lot so anyway we've got uh, three clips together I've got a couple of pre-prepared um, text segments that I just slot in there here's the lead in here I'm gonna double click that just edit the text on it um, CS test gonna do a center horizontal center on that save it and we're done. Now you won't be able to see the preview video up in this window here because the screen capture won't capture the overlay video unfortunately. One more thing I want to show you is in the transitions seg section you can do a very quick apply fading transitions to all videos, do the overlap transition and all segments of that video will have an overlap fade on them which is really nice, just tidies it up. It doesn't do the sound fading as well so what you can do then is apply random audio transition. I don't know why it says random, and then put the overlap transmission or transition on that. So now you have sound and video transitions. Now the output phase is the fun bit. I've created profiles on here, and I want to show you what I've done. I've got a two megabit per second 720p YouTube. Actually, I'm going to do it with the uh, ABC because I have one with 25 frames a second. And we go for a custom profile, 25 frames per second ABC HD, and you can see actually it's 1.9 megabits per second, 720p. S uh, preferring speed over quality. Now the reason I do this is because when we do news uploads, the speed of the network is usually pretty bad because everyone's trying to do it at the same time. So there's really no point trying to do a 10 megabit per second upload to YouTube. I know quality is very important, um, but why don't you reserve that, save that till later, put up a quick low quality version. You can always put up a higher quality version at a later date. Speed is important when you're c covering tech news, so that's why I chose 2 megabits per second upload speed. And the other good uh, reason to do a fairly low bit rate is because the conversion speed is good. I'm going to kick that off right now, and that's rendering the 4 minute video and this is a I think 450 euro laptop Core i3 nothing special about it 2.2 gigahertz sandy bridge and because it's using the Intel QuickSync uh, video it's actually rendering at about 2x uh, real time so we're gonna be finishing this 4 minute, minute, minute video render in about 2 minutes I won't wait for that to completely um, render through or sort of cancel that rendering now and there you go so there's the important things then get things uh, prepared on your projects get the fade in and the text um, pre-prepared drop them in do an automatic transition and then use a low bit rate uh, output with Intel QuickSync video enabled and there you go 2x real-time on a fairly cheap laptop 
Uh, I'll be writing more about this on Ultrabook News, possibly on UMPC Portal as well as part of the Ultramobile video editing series. So check it out there. Uh, check out uh, our YouTube channel because there's a lot more going on there as well. Thanks for watching.